present I am making a dragon, a big dragon. And I use cardboards and covering it with paper strips to make it much more sturdier and give details. This in the eyes I used a stone glass and then the plastic leftover plastic covers and I'm still going to finish the face there are still so many details that is needed to finish the head of this dragon making the horns of the dragon I used the circular portion of the masking tape and I just only piled them all up and covered it with paper strips and I also use plastic cups in order to lengthen the length of the horns of the dragon and I'm still going to cover this with strips of paper to make it much more sturdier and to give details Aside from the dragon, I am also making mushrooms. I make the mushroom cups using cardboards, shaping it like this. And I am also using the strips of paper. And the stems, I use plastic bottles. You can also use like this, soft drinks bottle. And then you can also use tissue rolls and if you wanted to make the stems longer you can stuck them up here like this just as what I have done here it's longer and I covered up with paper strips and then I'm going to let it dry and then after connecting the plastic bottle into the cup of the mushroom I cut strips of cardboard and shape it into this. It's like from here and onto the bottom. I connect the, the end of the cardboard strips to the other end in here to shape it like this. And then I cover it up with paper strips and let them dry. Recycle everything that you know that it is non-biodegradable materials like these plastic bottles. This is a dishwashing liquid bottle and you can make it into the stem of a mushroom like this. Okay, this is an example. This is an um, alcohol plastic bottle and I made it into a stem of the mushroom. And you can also use this plastic bottle of a bleach there they are okay these are some examples and then I'm letting them dry and I'm going to put again strips of cardboards here in order to have the shape of the mushroom stems and just use your creativity your resourcefulness but most especially your persistence and your passion to do these things, to do these crafts in order for you to help Mother Nature. And I really wanted, as I have said, I really wanted to use this platform to raise awareness and maybe to initiate or motivate younger generations to recycle so that that's, that's the only way that we can help Mother Nature. It's our own little way and preserving things, making it into beautiful, beautiful things, beautiful decorations, beautiful crafts. These are the mushrooms that being dried up and after drying up, I'm going to paint them with acrylic paint. And I'm going to add some details on the cups of the mushrooms. I made these mushrooms to include it into the fairy themed art installation. And when it is done, I'm going to show it to you.
I already painted the first coating of the mushrooms and I am still going to paint two to three coatings of acrylic paints with the corresponding colors and add some details, especially on the mushroom cups. And then it's done. Thank you for watching beautiful people and please do subscribe and like my video and smash that notification bell in order for you to watch my upcoming videos on my art gallery journey series. Thank you!